So hello everyone, it's your girl Gel Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today it's time for another main chick, side chick type situation. So if you all are new and you don't know how it goes, it's basically my take on dupes. So you have the main chick, which is like the high-end product that, you know, of course it's the bougie expensive bitch, so she's the main chick, and then the side chick product is like the drugstore, all the alternative products. So if you can't find your main chick product or you can't necessarily afford the main chick product, you would go and buy the side chick product. So I got, um, let me see, one, two, I got six parts for you all here, so I figured it was enough to, uh, you know, make a video on, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the foundation, so we got main chick, side chick. So my main chick is the Huda Beauty, what is this, um, full filter high coverage cream foundation. I wear the shade 500 G Mocha, and then I have the side chick here, which is the Juvia's Place, so I am Magic. Velvety Matte Foundation. So both of these at the end of the day are really thick, full coverage foundations. This is in shade Burkina. I wear Burkina in the summertime and I wear Lagos in the wintertime. Anyway, these are the two foundations. This is the main chick. Even though it does have an interesting smell to it, it has that really perfumey smell that Huda likes to put in everything. But recently she finally got the point that we didn't want that. So I think the last two products she came out, we didn't have it. If I remember correctly, the, um, the spray over there, I have the coconut spray that she had. I don't remember that having a heavy scent. It had a scent, but it wasn't heavy like this foundation is and her last setting spray was she got the point um the coverage on this is beautiful the concealer that goes with this is just as thick but the concealer that goes with the juvia's place i don't feel like as is as thick as the concealer that goes with this or else i would have obviously made it a main chick side chick situation as well anyway um i really like this foundation um but if i didn't have this one i would be fine with just having the juvia's place one i think this is like 18 dollars, and this one i'm pretty sure since it's hooded it's like 40 bucks or something like that don't quote me i don't remember the exact numbers and i was lazy enough the phone over there so we can't check to be sure but let's just go with the 40 okay anyway um so magic side chick I threw the box on the bed so I have to sit this stuff back down in the corner with me. So next thing I have is Main Chick Side Chick when it comes to this powder. Now I know you can find this powder at TJ Maxx for 20 bucks, but still, this one would be cheaper because this one is, I believe, $5.99. It was on sale on Catrice's website last time I checked for like $2.99. So it would still be a better deal than this one is because this one's 20 bucks. This is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Golden Hour. So Golden Hour is the shade that works best for my skin tone. And this one is Translucent Radiant. So they're both just supposed to be radiant setting powders for the face. Um, this one obviously is supposed to have a blurring effect. Whereas this one is just supposed to be radiant. It says it's a translucent loose powder with soft focusing effects. And light reflecting pearls for a flawless and natural glowing complexion. So these do about the same thing except this one's going to give you a blurring um, soft focus effect. And this one's just going to give you a soft focus light reflecting effect. So this would be the main chick. And this would be the side chick. Um, aside from this having the blurring properties, I feel like they're going to look exactly the same on the skin. I um, use this to dust all over the face and kind of set the highlighted places on my face i don't put it directly underneath my eyes though because of the color i just feel like it won't look well the same with this it's more like a dust all over powder or as mel thompson calls it the buffing effect so i feel like it's good for that i remember tiff jeff used to really like this powder a while ago and um i know they discontinued it though because i feel like becca discontinues a lot of things so obviously the becca's the main chick just because it gives you blurring effects in addition to the light illusion and this one will be the side chick because you're not going to get that blurring effect but you'll still get that you know like reflecting properties that they're talking about so main chick side chick next we're gonna get into the highlighter palette so i have two highlighter palettes and the main chick is the huda beauty bronze sand edition 3d highlighter palette and the side chick is the essence pearl nude sunlighter palette this is the 10 sunlighter reloaded so they have a lighter version and then they have this deeper version i'm about to show you so huda is the main chick just because her powders look so beautiful on the skin now this and the difference is this one has a cream and of course, the Essence one does not have a cream, but this cream is so beautiful. What you do is rub it on the places on your face that you want to put the highlighter, and then you put any of these highlighters on top. I usually mix all three of them, or I'll do like these two on the sides of the face, and then I'll put the gold one down the middle of the face, so you know, on the nose, keep this bow, chin, and then I'll put these toward the places I highlight on the side of my face, so you can get that glowing beam in the middle, and then you'll just be subtle when you turn your head from side to side. So that's how I like to use this palette, but you know, if I didn't have this palette, I would just go ahead and use this palette because it has the same pretty much color swing if you can't see. So the only difference is this one is a lighter orangish peachy type shade where the cream is. But I feel like the other ones pretty much look the same. Like this one looks the same. This one is a tad bit lighter than that one. And um, if you mix both of these together, 
it would uh, to me give a similar effect maybe not exact but similar enough to where i could survive with this one that i have in the other one and for people who don't like creams you might like this one better so huda is the main chick and this is the side chick i noticed she hadn't made any really highlighters since that huge gelee highlighter she made that was like 50 something dollars that's supposed to be for face and body or something crazy like that i wasn't really interested in it i prefer when she actually does these palettes because i like the cream and i like the formulation of the powders they feel really nice so this is the main chick and this is the side chick but for 10 bucks i feel like it's fine for a side chick so there you go now we have some lip products so remember i told you all i had fat i had showed you all a dupe for this one i know everybody didn't watch my fenty um beauty cream gloss bomb was sorry gloss bomb cream video so i figured i'd do a main chick side chick so um if you're new you can um know about this dupe as well so this is the shade fenty glow and i felt like the shade from um shade in amber from the Maybelline lifter glosses is really similar to this shade when I swatched them both you saw they looked the same I think I did a um, wear test on both of them too, comparing them to each other if I remember correctly so um, This is the main chick of course because the formulation on this is amazing not that the formulation on this isn't great because it is too They both wear the same this just has hyaluronic acid in and I feel like this one is a little bit more opaque than this one So main chick and side chick but both of them work perfectly and if you're looking to save some coin I definitely recommend that you try these Maybelline lifter glosses because these are like $8.99 at CVS and CVS always has free money and sales on Maybelline so just stick around and maybe find a good deal the funny thing is I keep both of these colors at home so I'm thinking maybe I should just you know leave this one here and I can just take my Fenty one back home I don't know we'll see the next lip one I have, believe it or not, I have a dupe for a hourglass lip gloss, which I was excited about. I'm actually going to post this on IG too, so just in case um, people that follow me on YouTube don't follow me on IG, they just follow me on IG and they don't um, think to look at my YouTube channel, they'll know about this dupe because I think this is an excellent dupe. So I have the hourglass with one of these Unreal uh, lip glosses. This is the shade Sublime. This is one of the most popular shades. That's why I was able to get it in a small sample size when I first tried it. And then I feel like the dupe for it is this Barely There gloss from Juvia's Place, one of the new ones they came out with. Now I swatched both of these on the, um, my hand for the Instagram video, so I'm not going to do it here. I mean not the Instagram video, the Instagram post. And I put both on my lips to see if you could see a difference. And I feel like you couldn't. The only difference is this has a plumping effect to it and that menthol smell and feel. But otherwise the glosses are pretty much the same color i know in the tooth they don't look the same but on the lips you could not tell the difference in the picture so you can go to that instagram post and then you'll see what i'm talking about because i have a whole dupe alert sometimes i just put the dupes on instagram and don't always put them in videos so this will be a dupe alert video um picture coming to you soon i'm pretty sure it'll come before this video does so anyway i think this is an exceptional deal because these are i think like aren't these like 12 or 14 dollars and this lip gloss is i think like 32 or 34 dollars some crazy ass price because it's hourglass and since i'm really not trying to support hourglass right now even though i already have this in a full size i figured i'd give alternatives to people who do like this shade or you can just buy some buxom lip glosses i don't know if they have this exact shade but they'll have that plumping property so if you want the plumping maybe go for buxom but if you're just curious about the shade i would say get the barely there from juvia's place because it feels nice on the lips and a lot of times when you all see me do my favorite lip combination when i don't know what to do i'll have this on i'll have the kylie cosmetics butterscotch i think lipstick on and then i just put on the lip liner from um juvia's place and cola and that's my um lip combination so main chick side chick just because this has the plumping properties and i do feel like the formulation is just smoother and nicer it's not as sticky as this one is but overall it's still nice for its price so this will be the main chick and that'll be the side chick the last one i have is a palette dupe and i feel like okay so this is not an exact palette dupe it has a similar color story it's not exact but uh the formulation of the dupe is better than the formulation of the real palette this palette was a, a lot of worst videos of 2020 i gave it an honorable mention in the best just because i love the brand but it, this palette rough y'all like the patchiness is real and then the colors like to muddy together a lot so i feel like based upon some of the stuff i just said you should know what brand i'm talking about this is the Milk Cosmetics 420 palette. So, the color story on this is gorgeous. Like, this shade right here, Shotgun, and the shade Wax are two of, like, my favorite shades in here. I also like um, the shade Full Metal. I like to do a combination of these two. The thing I hate about this palette is it's so many mattes, and I feel like all the mattes are um, just really green-toned or, like, brown-toned. And it's like, since they've done so many palettes like this, it's like... Um, you got Gemini already, and then you got 
um what is it uh smoke sessions and then if you bought the um impulsive palette it's like you have plenty of these tones already so it's like they just keep recycling the same tones and like i like greens too but it's like this was 58 dollars and then it's like kind of patchy when you put them on like when i put this all over the lid it still looked patchy in certain parts on my lid despite me patting it on to save its life it still didn't work and then um this shade right here did the same things like so the shades i was most excited about this one and this one i thought i'd be able to pat all the lid and they'd be fine like no they were patchy so believe it or not i have to make this little side chick because it was so patchy and horrible and i hate to do it to melt but you know like y'all should have gave me something better like give me something better um so i decided that the tribe palette from juvia's place was going to be the main chick in this situation because look at this color story now um this gorgeous green shade here works nice i haven't really tapped into this one at all but i figured it'd be easy to dust across this one right here or maybe just try to place it all over the lid but because of its color and my skin tone i don't think that would be a good idea so i think that's why i haven't really touched it too much um i know it has the oranges in here but i feel like the oranges are supposed to substitute for the yellows that are in um this palette and then it has like some browns and some deeper tones so i feel like it's a somewhat alternative it's not an exact because obviously these are more deeper grungier tones but it's like you don't have to worry about how you blend out these and if not working properly so that's why it's the main chick and this is the side chick i hate to say it i hate to do it but it's just too patchy for me to just i can't anyway so those are my thoughts and those are my main chick side chicks for this episode of main chick side chick i'm feeling like we're on like volume seven or eight of this now um anyway so i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope some of these dupes were helpful to you to save some coins remember you all are dimes i'll catch you guys in the next one bye